Crazy girl, what's up, mama? <sighs> what's up, y'all? I'm sitting here editing. And I'm having some issues with my computer. So, I don't even think I said, but um, my computer cut on. They think it's a bad cord. They think my cord, my charger cord is going out. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even think it's that. Like, I walked into my home office today. My desktop is plugged up, but it's not on. My charger over here that's supposed to be charging, like my backup batteries, is not on. I have another charger plugged in on the wall right here. It's not on. These lamps don't work. So I think it's the whole room is like a shortage. So I'm going to have to go to the breaker thing and like just reset the switch. It's happened before. It ha That happened like when I first, um, like when I first moved in or something. Because this building is like freshly new. Um, so I think it's that. But, um, but let me show you what my computer is doing. So outside of that, the computer is back on and basically, um, it was the charger. Basically they were saying it was the charger. I don't even think it was the charger. I think it's the wall, like the room itself wasn't working. So anyway, the computer is fine. It just needs to be charged. We're good. But this is what's happening. So when I have been importing stuff, it's been importing like this, like it'll say completed and all of this stuff but it'll come in very choppy so like this imported this imported but like like these i mean just just nothing but that imported so it's like it's picking and choosing what it wants to import but then whatever this clip is that imported it like it just stopped so watch this because i need curtains in there like now <laughs> like that's why i haven't been going over there because i don't really want to go over there and i'm just open to like and then here there's no sound and I mean it's the same thing so like it just didn't import correctly so I don't know what's going on and I just really feel like I always get it's so frustrating I feel like I always get issues when it's vlogtober and vlogmas that's when my computer and just stuff starts to act crazy like I do everything I need to do in terms of like clearing out my computer you know Clearing out old junk, re you know, restarting it. Like I do all of the things. I have a whole hard drive that I use. Like it still does what it wants. These are brand new memory cards. I use these same memory cards. I have like 15. Like I use them over and over. Ain't that right, Avery? Can you fix my computer, Mama? <laughs> Stop! Are you biting me in the face, crazy? You just want some scratches today. You just want scratches, my little girl. My goodness. Sweet, sweet. My grooming appointment is coming up. What's so crazy is the same day I go get my hair done by my stylist. It's the same day she has her grooming appointment. Me, you and mommy are going to get our hair done together, girl. Just in different places. Y'all, do y'all remember when I first made a video with her? She was such... Like, like this video, comment below, do some. Let me know if y'all if y'all were here when I first got her and I made the video when I was in my old apartment with her. She was so little. And a whole different color. I'm just gonna delete all of these clips and I'm gonna have to import it another way because grace and peace everybody. So I just noticed something. I was looking at my stove and my stove is literally like the wrong time. Like right now I think it's like, yeah it's 12.20. My stove says it's four o'clock. So I think something happened with our power. So I'm right here with my breaker I'm about to fix 22. What is 20? Yep. <laughs> that was it. Everything look because my computer is like now loading back up. That was it. I think we lost I think we lost power last night. So the lights came back on like normal, but it like reset the clocks and everything. Now I just have to go reset everything. Every time Avery goes in the closet with me, or not the closet, but the laundry room with me, she always gotta drag something out. Look at her sneaking. Look, get away from me. Well, this one didn't mess up. 
This one didn't mess up. This one is still, this one's right. This is why I can't keep stuff nice. you golden pothos plants are so dramatic this joint was so droopy i put some water in it yesterday and it is so perky already i wish i would have showed y'all the before and after so i always keep her dog food in this little drawer right here just makes it easier to access when it's time for feeding fully stocked you fully stocked mama i gotta throw this out so this is the food that she is currently on now. Let me see if this camera will focus. Um, this is what she's currently on now. Um, it's a digestive food because if you guys don't know, Avery got sick with pancreatitis um, earlier this year and it scared me because she was really sick. She was, just know she was pooping things. She didn't need to poop and yeah, it was just very, very, very bad. Ain't that right, girl? You scared mommy. So I have been putting her on this low fat digestive prescription diet and she has been doing really 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 good since then i mean <sighs> i mean it looks like she's actually have gained some weight which is great um because she's a super tiny dog so her having weight on her is a good thing quick fun fact for any like new subscribers or if you just didn't know avery and i share the same birthday she was literally born on my birthday so she is two years old so yeah so i love that so that's how i knew i was like oh this dog is for me like we got the same birthday girl let's go i'm really trying to get myself prepared to be in the office and stuff i'll be honest with you guys i low key feel like my life is all over the place right now and i don't know why and it's not that it is it's just i know i know what the feeling is and i know why i feel the way i feel and it's just because I have so much to do and so little energy at the moment. I just low-key feel like overwhelmed. So I know at some point I want to just take a day to do nothing because I've been pretty much on the move every day. But that Dove stuff I was telling you guys about that I ran out of, I think I have a strong feeling that they changed the look of it. I don't know if they did. All I know is this one smells just like it. Now it doesn't have the antibacterial title on it and all of that stuff. But all I can say, this one smells just like it and I do see that it's new. So this may just be a new smell and it smells similar, but this one smells really, really, really good too. So if you wanted to try out another Dove soap, I definitely uh, would recommend this one. It's a hydrating one. Um, let me show you guys what else I got. I ended up getting some hands up for the bathroom. I'm just going on like a dove spree right now. Don't mind me. But this is just a hand soap. It's a coconut and almond milk nourishing foaming hand wash. So I thought that was interesting. So I grabbed that. I also grabbed this from Dove. It's a moisture boost pre-cleanse shower butter. Um, it has hyaluronic serum and moringa oil. Moringa oil. Um, so I thought this was nice. I smelt it in the store and y'all like what so anything for some smooth skin especially with the season getting colder you definitely want to be more conscious about your body uh moisture so hear me out guys so now i have my go-to perfumes like i have been really like been more intentional about the perfumes that i buy getting a signature smell a smell that i'm gonna like that's gonna be worth the money all that all that but don't sleep on body mist body mist can take you far just because sometimes you may not want such a strong smell or you know a fragrance on you might just want a body mist just something to have especially like if you're in the house now me i didn't got to the point that i'll put perfume on if i'm in the house because i just feel like that smell will transfer to other things like your couch or a chair or a blanket or something like a jacket or something like that smell will just kind of like linger, especially if you really like it, then you'll like it everywhere. But found this in Target today and this smells so good. It's a mixed bar, it's vanilla bourbon. And me, I love like, I love vanilla smells, period. So yeah, 
but it's the number nine and it's a hair and body mist so i do like these because obviously you're not going to spray it directly in your hair but it can be one of those things you just kind of like spray in the air or i know when um like me when i had long braids i would spray my braids with a little bit of my perfume because all that hair as you move about the hair is moving that's just a really nice fragrance to have you know as you move about so i really like this it smells it smells so good it's definitely more of a vanilla like the vanilla is there and it's more of like a warmer smell so it just reminds me of like the, the fall season that we're in it smells incredible i love it so if you like vanilla warmer smells i think you'll like this but like i said it's vanilla bourbon and I'm gonna try and link it. It still has the barcode, so I'll scan it and see. Well, I used my app anyway, so it should pull it up for me, hopefully. Um, I did find, so those other bras, I don't know if you guys remember, I did like a um, shopping haul, a couple of vlogs back, just a few things I got from Target, and I had bought a black and like a burgundy color, like bralette. I really like bralettes just for like around the house. They're just very comfortable. I don't like regular like padded bras unless I have to wear them. Only time I ever really wear those is like to church. Um, but other than that, I like bralettes around the house or no bra at all. So me, I've been investing in these little bralettes. They're about seven bucks, five or about five, seven bucks. And like I said, I had recently bought a black and like a burgundy reddish one. Went in there today and they had a white one. They didn't have white in there before because I would have definitely got a white, but they had white in there today. So I grabbed one of these. They also had this super cute little like bodysuit. It's gray. I love a good bodysuit. It's something simple you can just throw on around the house, fresh out the shower, or if you just need something like, I don't know, you just want to put it on with a pair of pants or something. Bodysuits are like an easy go to, especially like with that compression feel. So I love things that has compression. So got this it is like a thong situation so there's that um also they had this really nice green sports bra now this one i probably i don't know i just liked this green the green was nice so just something comfortable to wear around the house i love like little cute you know little things like this and this one i think was more yeah this one was 15 the bodysuit was it was something. I'll have them linked. Eee! I ain't got my windows tinted, y'all. This joint is black. Dang, you really can't see it from there. I know that's right. I was definitely fishbowling. Like I said, y'all, I'm not getting the Tessie anymore. So I figured I'd just spruce up my Civic. Next up is car detailing. I ain't doing it today. Well, I guess I am going to get a detail today. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty clean. So we can just toss this stuff to the trunk. Well... All you need is this. I'm looking for some action. Okay, yeah, so I got my windows tinted, like I said, because since I'm not getting a Tesla, I might as well just spruce up my Honda. So it looks good. I'm happy. But they were talking about my battery had died quick or something. It's giving y'all to left my car on. I ain't never had that issue with my car. Now all of a sudden, it's all this extra stuff. This is why I'm saying, as soon as you like try to get ahead and pay off your car, so like they're like, now car issues want to start happening. Car issues all of a sudden want to start happening when you trying to pay it off. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Cause look at it y'all. Y'all see it down there? Y'all see my car down there? Like I said, he's going to take it to get a detail, but look how black the windows are. I love that. Um, my perception gives you depth. So you're going to find anywhere to lay. a woman question did you feel after 25 and i know it might be different for you because you had already had a child by then 
but did you feel like your body changed when you turned 25? You're right, my body had already changed after I had a baby. That's what I'm saying. So it's like it's hard to ask since you had already had I a child. I can't. Ask, you can't ask me. You can't ask Nene. Oh, but she's too. Nene. She's too close. No. She's too. Cl Taryn is too close in age. I need someone who's like maybe 30 years old. Cause yeah, cause I. So you know, I'm 25 now and. I'm not gonna say I've seen any like crazy major changes, but I just feel like I've been noticing little things. So I'm just like, I'm really getting older. Um, yeah, I can't answer that. Somebody else gotta answer. I don't know how. I don't know how I feel about that. Which I'm happy I'm getting older, obviously, because you don't know how to feel about it. I'm excited, but I'm just saying like things are changing. So for me, I'm just like, okay, things are changing. In a positive way, being in my shoes, I'm changing because I'm getting older. I am, I am marching, marching on up the steps to 60 years old. When I'm young and vibrant and doing stuff, you think? How do you think I feel, girl? Goodbye. I understand. I understand. I mean, when you look at it like that, it's like, yeah, I have a long ways to go. But I'm just saying, but my, like, my body is changing. Good morning. Why are you looking like that? <laughs> good morning, Squid Squid. Good morning, boo boo. Grace and peace, everybody. Good morning. Praying all is well with you today. Today is Saturday, and you know I'm excited because a new video goes live today. Also, there are a few things I want to get done today. Yes, some stuff with the studio. I'm going to take you guys shopping with me i am so determined to find me some drapes today i really am my last resort is ordering them today's bible verse of the day comes out of second john verse uh second john chapter one verse six uh king james version and it says and this is love that we walk after his commandments this is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning ye should walk in it and for me sometimes when i read the bible verse of the day i have to either like go above a couple verses and then get to the you know get to the actual verse of the day or keep reading just to really get the full context let's go to verse three it says grace be with you mercy and peace from god the father and from the lord jesus christ the son of the father in truth and love verse for I rejoiced greatly that I found of thy children walking in truth as we have received a commandment from the father verse 5 and now I beseech thee lady not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee but that which we had from the beginning that we love one another verse 6 and this is love that we walk after his commandments this is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning ye should walk in it to love God pretty much so to love God is to love his commandments is to obey is to be obedient it's to abide by the things that God asks and requests of us and that's one thing that I've recognized show honor and respect to God and to show God our love are many different things but in simple terms it's just to do what he said to do and love him <laughs> guys i feel like you guys can see 
the car a little bit better now, but she is clean and the windows are tinted. I love that the windows are so black. Like, I love it. I don't know which I'm not mad at these either now let's take a look at these curtains they have I think these are just bedroom curtains but I don't even think it matters right I just need them to all be the same size I'm just gonna have to go to the studio and see because they have a bunch they do have a bunch of rods though so I just want a plain black like I want I want something kind of structured like this or even the ball is cute. I'm not mad at the ball. Single rod. I need to see how long. Because if a cross is 84, then I need it to at least go. Right? Or I'm whispering because they ain't got a lick of music on in here. So I just feel like, <laughs> I just feel like everybody hear my little conversation. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. Like, maybe somebody can help me. All right, y'all. I know I'm not in here for this, but I honestly want to like spruce up my bathroom. I feel like, like my bathroom is cool and I liked it, but I just feel like I could. It could just be nicer, you know? Ooh, let me call my mom. Let me see if she feels like driving out of town with me today. She ain't gonna feel like it though. Hello, mommy. What is up? So I did a little shopping, not too much. I really didn't even find what I was honestly looking for. So of course I ended up spending money on stuff I didn't need. But I am headed to go get me some breakfast. Um, me and the Lord are getting ready to go get some breakfast, okay? And just chill. I just kind of need to clear my mind a little bit. I feel a little clouded in my head. This would have been a great time for me to have my iPad, but I don't have it. I didn't plan to do this, but I'm just gonna sit and eat and then just chill out for a little bit. I really have no reason at all to go by the studio right now, so I'm not even gonna go over there. I'm just, I'm just going to chill. Today is one of those days where like you want some company, and I'm just being honest. Like today's a day where I honestly wanted some company and like nobody is available which is fine like it's, it's no it's no biggie but like today was just one of those days where i was like dang i want to hang out with one of my friends i want to hang out or you know just be you know with my mom or my sister or something my sister ain't answering the phone my dad's working my mom already has plans so it's just like you know what just forget it that's where i'm at like just never mind okay because everybody busy, but it is totally fine, obviously, but it's just like, dang, like on a day I actually would like some company is the day everybody is busy. But it is okay because one thing about me, I'ma be all right. And I'ma solo dolo it just like I usually do. And that is just fine, you feel what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't forget to date yourself. I'm getting ready to go to one of my favorite breakfast spots in my area. Um, they have some really good food. The restaurant I'm going to is not busy today. It is Saturday morning, but I'm hoping, you know, their wait time and stuff like that is not going to be crazy because it's just me. So, yeah. you guys i am back home and honestly even doing just all that i just did has made me so like i don't want to go anywhere else the rest of the day but i have a lot that i need to do to prep for next week so laura willing um those things can flow a little bit smoother for next week so i am going to plan and do all of that so it's giving some computer work and just kind of kick my feet up but i wanted to show you guys what i got from bed bath and beyond obviously i didn't really get anything that i actually needed so I ended up getting other stuff, but I finally got me some Simple Human uh, trash bags for my Simple Human trash can. And y'all forgive me, like sometimes when I say stuff, it's a lack of like actually reading what I'm reading. So it was one video I was on some decluttering and I kept calling my trash can Superhuman. 
And somebody called out, they was like, is you calling the stuff uh, superhuman for me? She was like, I thought you were talking about the brand Simple Human. And I was like, Simple Human? I'm like, no, Superhuman, like Superhuman. Not realizing that what I bought is Simple Human. Jalen, read, babe. I finally got me some Simple Human uh, trash bags. Now, when I bought my trash can, they came, the trash can came with a few of these. And because they're supposed to like fit the trash can better, um, so I'm over here trying to use trash can or trash bags that don't fit it that well. Now I have a little bit of stuff in my trash can right now, but as you can see, it's very like, you know, and if something super heavy drops in there, like the bag has before like done this situation, like did that. Let's pop open some of these. So y'all remember what it just was looking like. So let me show y'all what it would look like after the fact. Was this the wrong size too? What is actually wrong with me? Okay. I'm not doing the best at advertising these. I think I bought the wrong size, but I just stretched it because, <laughs> whatever. Um. So yeah, I wanna show you guys what I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. So I'll start out with the obvious that's already out. So I seen this and they only had one, but I thought this was so, I don't know, I just thought this was so nice and just fall appropriate. So I just thought about taking this plant and just kind of putting her somewhere and then just have this like cute fall decor piece just, you know, just out. Let's see how that'll work. Cause I have enough plants. Like I have plants everywhere y'all. She might be too tall. So I'm gonna put her in here. I'm gonna put an actual, so I'm gonna set my snake plant here. Okay, moving on to so the next thing I got, which I'm so happy she wrapped them nicely for me. Okay, so I got these like little glass, like these little glass plate bowls. Like they're not super deep for a whole entire bowl. They're also not super flat, like a plate. So it's like a bowl plate. You can honestly put whatever in here. Honestly, I would probably use a dish like this for like my salmon meal. You have to be super careful with these. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the sink. Also, I got this little bowl and I don't know if you guys can see the details on this. But the details on it are like these little, I don't know, like little specks. And then I got a matching coffee mug. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, like I have my nice appliances, well not appliances, I have like my really nice dishware and I don't like to use those for just like regular, like simple little meals and I find myself reaching for them all the time just because, which is, like hear me out, I'm not like that type of person like, oh no, I can only eat on this, like I will eat on a paper plate like my last vlog, I was eating some chicken nuggets. They were on a paper plate, okay? Cause I had just cleaned my house. I did not want to dirty up anything. But I'm saying all this to say, sometimes I will reach for those really nicer dishes on just like a simple meal, like a sandwich or something. And I really don't want to dirty those up and keep using those. Like those I would like for dinner nights, things like that. So these I feel like are a safer, not safer, but I just feel like this is like that medium. It's like, it ain't a paper plate, but it ain't like my real nice, cookware, I mean my real nice, you know, dish. This is just kind of like, oh, it's just a clear plate. It ain't that serious. It low key feels like it's plastic and, I know it's glass, but it don't feel like straight up glass. It says glass dinner plate and it's by Simply Essential. So I'll put it on the screen, Simply Essential. So that's the brand, again, I got it from Bed Bath and Beyond. So like I said, I got two of everything. So I got two bowls, two smaller plates, two bigger plates. Um, and yeah, then got the little bowl with the matching coffee mug, and then this little fall decor piece. Like I said, it's not even what I needed and what I said I was gonna go to Bed Bath & Beyond for. I literally went in there. I was honestly going there looking for some like drawer separators because if you watched the last vlog, you know I tried to buy some and it just did not work. Oh, went it took myself out for breakfast. It was really nice. The only thing is, I feel like my head is like stinging a little bit because I sat up under, I sat up under the heater. They had a heater outside so I wouldn't get cold. And I guess the, where I was sitting, it was like, it burned my head. It burned my head. 
and I just feel like it's tingling, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna cut on the Parkers and I'm gonna do some editing, do some work on the computer. I don't want the day to waste, so I'm gonna do something. Also, my last vlog was my 500th video. 500 videos, which is so crazy because, let me make this a post. Look at me and got sidetracked. 